Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vex here bringing you a brand new video and today we're going to be talking about something that's really close to my heart and really close to a lot of people's heart and that is the Call of Duty community. Now, the Call of Duty community is, you know, quite a big thing to a lot of people. I mean, Call of Duty is, is massive. It's the biggest selling title ever out of like all the series of games and everything. They have sold the most copies of their games more than anyone else ever. Now, that's huge. That's, that's massive, right? And... The community, the Call of Duty community, ha is known as, and probably will always be known as, a bunch of little kids that just talk crap. And to be honest, I can't blame other communities saying that, because it's really true. Whenever I go home back to the UK, or whenever I play in the States, I always hear little kids talking trash. Not only little kids, I guess, also adults. But, like, I mean, I heard them talking trash all the time. Like, it's not even funny how much trash they talk. Now, I understand, like, there's a place for it in gaming, and, okay, fair enough. But not every game you go into, you just don't expect that from anything, much less like a community as big as, as Call of Duty, right? Let's talk about the COD community, right? And the Call of Duty in general. So over the last two years, people have been complaining about the last two Call of Duties that have been released. And that's Call of Duty Ghost and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, what I'm playing right now. Now, the complaints with the game is that it's... That Call of Duty Ghost was unbalanced and Call of Duty Advanced Warfare doesn't feel like Call of Duty anymore. And I mean, while the they are true, what people have said is valid, you gotta be you gotta understand that these guys have such an incredibly difficult job. They have to create a game that everyone likes, and every time they create a game, there's always gonna be people who don't like it, and there's always gonna be people who complain about it. People are complaining the game's too similar to the old one, and now and then people complain when it's too different. So I mean, you got to give the guys a break at Activision and and Sledgehammer and Affinity Ward or whoever whoever makes the game Treyarch, whoever like makes the game that year. You guys got to give them a break. I mean, they're human; they can only do so much. Now, over the last two years, especially over the last six months, um, there's been a lot of talk of the COD community is dying or the COD community isn't what it used to be. And to some extent, I got to agree with that. The Call of Duty community isn't what it used to be, um, and I think it's down to one main, well, in my opinion, one main reason, that's just because the last two Call of Duties haven't been what people expected from Call of Duty. Now, while that is very valid and it is quite true, do I personally think the Call of Duty community is dying? I do believe it's on a decline, but I don't believe it's dying. I don't think the Call of Duty community will ever die, just for the simple fact that it's so big and so versatile and, you know, I, that, that's just my personal opinion. So, so, let's talk about what can be done to save it, right? So, for those of you who don't know, uh, there's a man by the name of Keemstar, he does a channel called Drumler, and he gets a lot of shit, I'm not gonna lie, he does get a lot of stick for the stuff that he reports because he thinks that he's, people think that he's intruding into, intruding into people's lives. And while that might be true on some occasions, he does bring to light a lot of problems that actually are going on in the community. And he made a great video, and I will link that down below, and he also, he's decided to make a community channel. And what a community channel is, is it's a channel where anyone can upload videos, and it allows people to get exposure that wouldn't normally get exposure. And I think this is a great idea. I think it's a fantastic idea, in fact. And I think it could be something, it could be a contributing factor to the Call of Duty community thriving. Like, if we take, if we take another community, for example, let's take the FIFA community, right? Let's look, let's just, let's just see how they're doing, right? FIFA is not an incredibly big game, right? It's, it's a big game, but it's not massive. It's not as big as Call of Duty. Certainly not. And somehow they managed to keep their YouTube audiences and they managed to get smaller YouTubers become big. And why is that? Well, it's the fact of the matter of the fact. It's just they do they do things called collabs. And collabs is when two YouTubers work together on a video or a series of videos. And it happens in FIFA. It happens in Minecraft. It happens in a lot of big titles, but not so much in, in Call of Duty. The thing that happens is, is shout outs. Big YouTubers shout out smaller YouTubers, and medium YouTubers should shout out, shout out, shout out small YouTubers, and small YouTubers shout out other small YouTubers. Now, in Call of Duty, that very rarely happens. The only time there's a shout out is when it's like a shout out series 
by a medium YouTuber trying to become bigger and asking for subs from it. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but, I mean, it's not, but, it, it, you know, it doesn't exactly promote growth in the Call of Duty community, does it? Not in my opinion, anyway. So there's, there's one contributing factor to why the FIFA community and other communities are doing well and why the Call of Duty community isn't. Another thing is possibly the idea of a community channel. Now, I haven't seen this in any other community. I saw it a while ago in the Call of Duty community and then it, it, it like I haven't seen them very many since. And a community channel, as, well, as I said before, it's a place where smaller YouTubers can upload their content to try and get the exposure that they normally wouldn't from their own channel. Now, community channels are a great idea. I think they're a great idea. It, it allows smaller YouTubers to share their content, and when these things get a big audience, it allows smaller YouTubers to become bigger. Meaning, smaller YouTubers have more ambitions, making more YouTubers get involved in Call of Duty, making more people diet, making more people watch it, making more people like understand the game so they can become a YouTuber in it, and it becomes a plausible thing to do. Whereas right now, it's not. Becoming big on YouTube as a, YouTube, as a Call of Duty YouTuber it's difficult, it's really difficult. And I, I think that a community channels are just a great way of, of you know, sharing views and, and getting smaller YouTubers more more exposure. I think it's a fantastic idea. And for Keemstar to do something like that, I think it's a great idea. He's actually ended up making it a streaming team, or, uh, no, I apologize. Not a streaming team, but a YouTube team. And I'm not sure whether that's the right decision, but, you know, we'll, we'll end up seeing about it in the future, I guess. I can't really comment because I don't really know how it's going to go. And the next thing I want to talk about is how vital this Call of Duty title is to the Call of Duty franchise and the Call of Duty community. Right? The last two games, I'm not going to sugarcoat it, have not been good for the Call of Duty franchise and for Activision themselves. In fact, they've been quite toxic for them. It's caused the Call of Duty community to decline quite rapidly. After playing the beta and after seeing what everyone had to say about the beta of Call of Duty Black Ops 3, the, the feedback was pretty good. It was all, all of it was pretty positive. Nothing really bad about it. And I think that's really good. Uh, this could be... This will be the turnaround point for the Call of Duty franchise. If this Call of Duty goes down well, they're probably going to save themselves from something that they don't really want, which is a huge decline. Um, and and possibly worse, people end up not buying the game. So that's how vital this Call of Duty is, and I think that the Call of Duty that they produced is up to the standard that it needs to be. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is what Activision have done in order to try and help it as well. For those of you who don't know, Activision created something called the Call of Duty World League. And what this is, is it's a league that allows amateurs and semi-pros in Call of Duty to, to participate in a tournament um, well, not much so much as a tournament as a league. And what this league is, is it allows smaller teams to go through the league system and then pr play at a huge tournament at the end against pro teams. Now, this gives smaller amateur players more of a chance of being recognized. And this is something that didn't happen, that hasn't happened so far. You have to be lucky uh, in order to be recognized as a, as a pro player in the Call of Duty community. It's not something you can just, you know, like... Maybe one or two, like who have been recognized as, as an amateur and managed to make a name for themselves. And good for them. I'm really happy for them because, it, I mean, it's something big in the community and it's something big that's happened. Um, so that, and then they dumped three million dollars into the prize pool. So it's going to make people, you know, want to compete in order to win that money. It's not a small amount of money. Three million dollars is a hell of a ton of money. It's a shit ton of money. And I think it's great that Activision have done something like that in order to get more people involved. So community channels, the World League, and Black Ops 3, those three things combined could bring the YouTube, the Call of Duty community back to life. And I think it could make it uh, an eSport that's just as big as League of Legends. Anyway guys, sorry if I sounded like I was ranting in that video. It's something that I'm really passionate about and something that a lot of people are really passionate about. And it's just been something on my mind. Uh, anyway guys, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a like. If you didn't, refresh your page and give it another try. Anyway guys, it's been your boy Vex, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.